Hi, this is an unboxing and review of the Etec City Palmside Digital Multimeter. It comes in a box like this. You can see it's a pretty typical multimeter. There's not much in the back here, so let's just go ahead and unbox it. Well, for whatever reason, there's a metal ball inside here. I don't know why. But here is the Lee. And there's no user menu. Just Oh, there is a user menu. This ball keep moving around. So here's what included in the box. You have the user menu, the multimeter, the two test lead, and a random little metal ball. I'm not sure what that's for or why is it here in the first place. The user menu is really detailed. You have a lot of little small information, which I'm going to get through in a few days here of testing it. And then uh, there's all kind of instruction on how to use it now. Here's the multimeter itself. You have the whole button here. You have look like a light button on and off here. And then you have the test lead plug here and then you have the different setting you can set it to look like it come on already so it look like it does come with battery already uh, on the back there's nothing really except just flip out stand to let it stand in this angle this is a really nice design I'm not sure how it's even coming on right now must be having some kind of small internal battery I don't see a place to take battery out at all it's kind of neat so from the user menu, it looks like the battery is actually inside and it's, uh, you can open it up by taking these two screws off and taking the whole case off. So the battery is actually inside here. It's a 9 volt battery, so it comes pre-installed. So I guess whenever you run out of battery, you have to open it up and uh, replace the battery. But overall, a really nice unit that is almost, you can't even see the line where it was open. It's really nice. The uh, test lead itself here is a 3 feet long cable. So this end will go into the device and then this other end will go to whatever you're trying to test. And it looks like the end here is actually cap up, so you have to take the little plastic cap off here. So that's kind of nice. Keep the plug all straight and not having any problem. So when you're not using it, you can close it up. Here's the unit itself again. You have the whole button up here to hold the current reading. You have the light here to turn on the backlit for the LCD. So for example, let me set it onto one of these more here. Come on. Press this button and you see the LCDs come on and look like it's green. Very nice and very easy to read. And that's a toggle switch, so you turn it on and stay on and you press it to turn off. So make sure you turn it off when you're not using it, otherwise you're going to kill the battery. So you leave it on and you turn it to off mode, it also goes off, so that's good. As far as being a multimeter, you have a uh, look like ohm setting here. So you can check your ohm, and down here you have your amperage setting over here. And then you have your voltage, this is look like DC and this look like it's AC over here. I've been using this multimeter for a while and it seems to work pretty well. There is a little bit of discrepancy. Uh, most devices like this, you know that it's not going to be extremely accurate unless you get a really expensive scientific gray device. This one, for being a consumer gray, it worked quite well for me. I let here depend on what kind of testing you're doing. So normally the negative tunnel will go to the COM port here and then most of the red light will go in this port. So uh, let me show you the accuracy. Right now, I see it's shown one right now. Um, currently in ohm. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off here for a second. And your option here look like our 200 milli, 2000 milli, 20 volt, 200 volt, 500 volt, for example, I've set a 2 volt, 20 volt here, for example. And you can press this whole button here to hold the reading currently. A little bit tough to see on camera, but it uh, has this really nice green back lit to it, and it's pretty nice. So I'll take it off here. It's supposed to be a 1.5 volt battery, but everyone knows this is, you know, a little bit about 1.6 or so. So let's measure this real quick. This is a pretty new battery. Let's see here. See here, I'm getting 1.4, so this one is a little bit weak actually. Uh, let me try this one. I thought these are supposed to be new. I'm getting 1.62. There you go. So this one's actually had a bit more voltage than the other one. Let me give you an idea. So you see, it works pretty well. I think it's up by a small percentage, but uh, for general purpose use, it's not so bad. For me, most importantly, is the ohm meter, and this works actually quite well. What I did was I went online real quick to calculate this to see what is the supposed to be resistance of this and it turned out to be 470. So you can get a charge online and get these. I don't know it off my head. So using this uh, little guy here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it measures up here. So let me go ahead and turn it to ohm for example. I'm going to set it under 2000 ohm here. I'm going to go ahead and measure this guy. I'm just going to put it across down here. And you can see it's reading 462. So it's a little bit less than 470 and that kind of gives you an idea how accurate it is. So let me show you that whole functionality. As you can see, I have an ohm setting and I don't even do anything and there's a small resistance from the wire here. 462 here and I'm going to press the hold button and you can see I get 463 and it's holding in place. And I'll just let it go like that and you go back to uh, 
well it's supposed to be zero but there's a little bit of resistance in the wire so you get a little bit down so i hope that gives you a good idea how this multimeter is it is somewhat inaccurate as far as you know down to the you know exact voltage and the exact ohm but it worked well for most of my uh, application i do like the lead cable will come with a little plug to uh, you know make sure that you don't mess up your plug so that's kind of nice for being under 20 dollar this is a pretty good multimeter for everyday use if you're a hardcore hobbyist this is probably not for you but for everyday consumer who's just looking for a simple multimeter this works pretty well hope you enjoyed this review if you have any questions please let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you